Hey you guys, it is me, the Ike Theories, back with another video, and today I am here to talk about all the fusions from Steven Universe. I was actually supposed to do a video on this, like, last week, but I was very late to it. Uh, I just was. But, um, I am going to be doing a talk about all the fusions. We received three of them from, uh, uh, I'm not talking about all of them, I'm just talking about the new ones that we received. Uh, we received three of them from Change Your Mind, the, um, finale. Uh, and the first one I'm going to be talking about is Sunstone. Now, right off the bat, I really like her design, but, you know, just, like, how the entire thing is, like, just together, like, Steven and Garnet, I feel like this is, like, a perfect combination of their fusion. Um, it gives it an orange color because her name is Sunstone and a fiery, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff just associated with heat, um, so they get, like, a fiery type of, um, fusing. And the hair even looks a lot like the sun, so, you know, for the, um, hair design, it looks a lot like the sun. And you just, it's all in that heat category. But, Sunstone herself, or himself, himself, is really powerful. Like, powerful, probably the strongest fusion we've seen so far. Because she was able, just three people alone, was able to lift up that entire mech and push it over. It wasn't really, like, just holding it, but it was able to push it off to the side. She's probably stronger than other Garnet fusions like Sardonyx or Sugalite. I mean, even though they are all bigger than Sunstone, just by how things look, she is definitely probably the strongest because I don't think that that is the, 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 the diamond ship is really huge already. So like, she's probably stronger than like Alexandrite, but she's her design's really good. She has like a little like tank top looking thing out of Steven's shirt and then the normal pants or not pants, uh like um shorts but jeans and then the flip flop um stuff and then her hair is just like a whole bunch of face like all of her face is hair <laughs> and then she got the really big bulky strong muscular arms which is obviously steven and then the little tiny skinny arms on the side which is garnet obviously and she looks very interesting honestly i really do like her design it's like perfect it's like the only wrong thing which isn't even really wrong i like it like that is the fact that usually all fusions in Steven Universe, their colors combine too. So, you know, like for example, Garnet is magenta and Amethyst is purple. So, their color mixed together would give like this violet color, which is what Sugalite looks like. And the same for Opal, you know, their colors perfectly mix. But pink and magenta with Garnet and Steven does not make orange, which is Sunstone. But either way is no problem. I like Sunstone. I like her design. You know, it's just like, it's all perfect. Like, she's really strong, you know, one of the perfect gems, so I just don't see anything wrong with her. She's very motivational as well, she's like, you know, kind of like one of those, um, she, one of those stay in school type of people, you know, don't do drugs. So, yeah, she's probably, like, very, um, trying to, you know, just encourage kids to do better. But then we have her weapon, which would be suction cups. So, it's not really a weapon, but... The only reason I like it is because Sunstone is really so strong herself, you know, she was able to lift up the entire mech, so she doesn't even need those cups, or any weapon for that matter. Her weapon is basically her hands, but if she ever was in a situation where she needed to get away, then those suction cups would be the key, because she can climb. But, yeah, that's it for Sunstone. I mean, it's nothing really to say, she's good. And then, next up would be Rainbow Quartz 2.0, which I always liked it, Rainbow Quartz. You know, she's, I don't, I, I'm kind of hot. I, I want to say Rainbow Course was my favorite fusion of the episode, but it's kind of hard to argue with the fusion I'm going to be talking about next, considering she's, like, an abomination in a good way. But then there's Rainbow Course 2.0, and, um, Steven did some ballet stuff to fuse and make her, her weapon is a parasult, so, um, which is everything we all really theorize her weapon would be a parasult, and, uh, it, she can float with it, and I guess that goes with Steven's floating powers, which is amazing, uh, her design, she has the pink little, uh, ballet shoes from Pearl, and then the jeans from Steven, and then the little, uh, blue, sh um, jacket, or not really jacket, more so like a, um, just like a blazer, kind of, um, which is from Pearl's new design, and then of course the tank top shirt, which is what every fusion has. Her hair color is a little different from before, like I mentioned before, but I still like it. Um, her legs are kind of fat, but it doesn't look bad that way. Like, cause you know Steven is strong, so kind of like with Garnet or Sunstone, uh, 
she got like a pair of strong arms and then a pair of like um skinny arms big fat legs could just show like the strong calves that Steven probably has because he's just really strong but her parasol controls how she floats which goes hand in hand with Steven's floating powers so if she falls or something then she can just float with her um umbrella parasol thing and she spins it around and she can also fly on it like you know it really gives it that Mary Poppins feel now uh, she can fly on it um leaving a rainbow trail behind and um she she used this um method to um grab ruby and sapphire or garnet you know when they were falling but i have to say rainbow quartz like not only does it give the mary poppins feel which i think she was actually um based off that i think she was actually inspired by mary poppins which only makes this 10 times better and i just have to say can she actually shoot stuff out of it because other than flying and floating i don't really think there's anything else she could really do with it you know like can she shoot stuff out of it kind of like how pearl can shoot lasers out of her spear because that would be interesting you know, and then she makes a joke at the end. And next up is Obsidian. Now, Obsidian is the one that we obviously would have to save for last because she's just an amazing fusion. Okay, she's gigantic, obviously. And she has a very magma-ish type of, like, you know, w way. And she's very magma. And obviously, I made this, pi um, my, um profile picture because, I mean, I just love Obsidian. She's crazy. And again, it's kind of hard to say I do like Rainbow Quartz. She probably would have been my favorite of the bunch if Obsidian didn't come in. Again, it's very hard to argue with that because, I mean, you can't just see a fusion like Obsidian and say Rainbow Quartz is better. Again, Rainbow Quartz is my better fusion, like, out of, like, just, like, two people fusions. Well, obviously, Opal's always going to be my favorite, but still, I love all CD Universe fusions. Sucralize, Verdonix, all of them. Smokey, all of them. Okay, but... Uh, Obsidian is based off, like, you know, not, I don't know what she's based off of, but she's magma and black and gray, which would actually make a lot of sense, because Obsidian is black, so, you know, her eyes are, like, fiery red, and, uh, her weapon is a sword, obviously, she, uh, well, not obviously, but it is a sword, she puts the sword in her mouth, like, to create this lava thing, because it's, like, a whole bunch of lava in her mask, or, like, mouth thing, and she pulls out a sword with, like, weird writings on it, I, this, I don't know if this is, like, referring to an anime or not. I honestly can't tell, but it kind of gives me those anime vibes. But Obsidian, her design is just really amazing. Uh, she's, uh... At first, when I first seen her, I thought she was naked. But, um, actually, it's actually... The lava kind of makes an outline for armor on her. So, that must be what she has. And her sword can just cut through the, um... Mech ship, like, just anything, like just killing an ant with your foot which is not even a good example so i don't know why i bring that up but the sword it can um like cut through it and you see lava and stuff from it but obviously opal will always be my favorite fusion again obsidian is amazing okay she's she's amazing okay it's kind of hard to argue and say that obsidian's a better fusion compared to you know other people like you know rainbow was my favorite of the bunch in that episode but obsidian obviously was insane okay and it will kind of be cheating to say she's better just because of how overpowered she is. But again, Opal will always be my favorite fusion. Okay, I don't care what nobody say. Opal is just amazing. I love her. Okay, Opal will always be my favorite. Out of any fusion in Steven Universe, Opal will always be my favorite. But anyway, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I will definitely be doing some more videos talking about this. Um, not the fusion in general, but just, you know, more theories and stuff covering all of that stuff. But don't forget to like and subscribe.